We're still going technical here. Now we're going to talk about penetration because absorption is good, but if you absorb 100% of light at the surface, then you're not really getting anything into the deeper tissues, which isn't always necessary. But in many cases, we do want to get light into deeper tissues. And it has to be able to get down there if you're going to work on anything deep, like the lumbar discs or hip joints. Now, we know that near-infrared light in the 800 to 1100 nanometer spectrum can go pretty darn deep into the tissues, and even right through bone. And uh, if you can get that deep, then you can get the absorption you need to have deep tissue effects. Again, this is a specific range of light. This is not just any light. Uh, again, green impacts right off the surface of the skin. Red doesn't make it very, very deep into the tissues at all. But this 800 to 1100 nanometer spectrum does actually enable you to get pretty deep into the tissues. It's not all reflected off the surface. Understand that you can get light deep into the tissues with really no problem at all. When we're talking about specifying a wavelength that can get the deepest, we're gonna say it's somewhere between 800 and 810 nanometers. So you can get the best penetration at that wavelength. But if you increase your power and your spot size, you can get even deeper. And we're gonna talk about power here in just a minute. First, I wanna talk about scattering though, because scattering means you're dispersing light into the tissues. And this can be a good thing because you're getting more dispersion around your laser beam into the soft tissues. Um, some tissues actually have more scatter than others. More water containing tissues have less. Uh, and also, 1064 nanometer lasers seem to have about the least amount of scattering in the tissue. So in many cases, you can get 1064 in fairly deep because it doesn't scatter. It travels more on in a linear fashion. Okay, frequency. Before we get to power, frequency, again, that's if the laser is flashed at a certain rate per second or if it's left on in a continuous mode. It, you change the effects that you're having in the tissues if you are using pulsed settings. So if you use a certain pulsing pattern, you can actually have a increase in blood flow. You can clear out edema more quickly. If you change it to a different pulse rate, then you get less of that effect and more of an effect on modulating local immune system activity. 